out here, I get embarrassed because I feel like I have to enter into the witness protection program because they see me and I'm here too often. Brynn and I will come three, four times in a weekend. I've just yeah. been recognized and this girl's calling her friends to tell them. I am the Justin Bieber of TJ Maxx. You are. You guys are my proof. Mm -hmm. Look at this. We're doing a full fledged appearance in Bridgehampton. Hi. 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 We are going to TJ Maxx Marshalls. Now we're in the Hamptons and Bridgehampton Commons is what I refer to as Rodeo Drive. It has so many different things that I like. I really do, this is not just a line. I like TJ Maxx better than Hermes and that's kind of a crazy thing to say, but I really do. It's just so adventurous. It's a treasure hunt, but this is an interesting unicorn because this is TJ Maxx Marshalls next to each other. So it's like the perfect storm of retail treasure huntery. Here's the rub. I was here yesterday and I made myself a rule that I would only shop clearance. Right, we're here at the Holy Grail. Look at this, worlds colliding. I'm not even taking a cart. Amazing packaging that she spends a lot of money on. That looks amazing. You're coming home with me. How much are you? Six dollars because we lost the box, but love that journey for us. I mean, I'm the Justin Bieber of TJ Maxx and Marshalls. You guys could, I mean, these women came here cause, to buy a tray because I said it. See, <laughs> we are all very busy today. I mean, I think we need that. It's the Simpsons, but I gotta calm down. Oh my God. Okay, I've heard of that. Today, I'm gonna make myself a rule that I have to find at the level items and maybe I'll give myself a budget of $50, but only clearance items. The problem is yesterday I found all these amazing items and I lost them in the store. I found this Hello Kitty mirror. This is a mirror. I don't know why I got it, but I'm, we're gonna find out. We think the Kardashians work hard, Hello Kitty works harder. There's nowhere that she hasn't been. Lady of La Noche. I have given myself a spending freeze other than beauty. Like I'm not buying shirts and bags, so I can't go looking in those other areas. And it's tempting because you have to walk through those areas to get to the beauty. So we shall remain disciplined. We shall do the Lord's work for America, the United States of America at TJ Maxx Marshalls. And I will remain calm. We don't have that much of a time constraint. This is not a Stanley Cup. I've talked about them. Crumble sent this to me, don't hate. But you get dehydrated on these missions. We have to hydrate prior. Hydrate and you always get a cart. Yesterday I didn't get a cart, lost all my in the store. I know, I like a theme. It's not 4th of July, but you can't wear this in 4th of July because it's too hot. We're not, and we're getting a cart. I made that mistake. We're getting a cart today. That's a bad, bad and rookie rookie mistake. Think you're not gonna buy a lot. You don't get a cart, and then you end up losing your in TJ Maxx. It's not acceptable. We are currently at retail mecca. TJ Maxx and Marshalls converge next to each other. This is a rare, rare unicorn retail occasion. We are going to find at the level products in the clearance section and. I'm not kidding. This is not funny, though, Paul. I'm getting, I'm making it. That says Roller Babe. That shirt says Roller Babe. I'm not not getting that. That's like, that's not. That is that I'm getting. I'm not that I'm getting. Here's the problem. I said I wasn't buying, and I'm not buying. I'm really not. But this is like you guys who know me know. How am I not going to get this? Let's be really honest with each other. I'm getting this. It says Roller Babe. It's not. It's not up for discussion. It's Moschino, and I don't, I'm sorry. I have to. I have to have it. Little caveat, they don't really have a major clearance section here, so the clearance section rule is going to be for Marshalls. Cookies and dreams? There are no dreams in here. My dream is dead. We are going to find at the level clearance items. I'm trying to keep it under $50. Let's go. Should Paul wore on our first date? Like, what if Paul wore this on our first date? Second date or no date? I think I would choose this because he's got some stretch. And he said he did he said he did 25 push-ups before coming to the date, so he'd look more ripped. He did 25 push-ups, he put a medium shirt on, even though he's a size large. If the large fits, get the medium. I did eventually get a cart, I forgot. I'm happy. I'm good. Now I'm gonna edit. I'm gonna edit. I don't wanna be that girl, but made a rule and I said I was gonna be unclear. You gotta open things up sometimes because there are a lot of broken things. 
when you get home. Like somebody ate a chocolate out of here, I think. That's not great. Okay, we spent 111. All right, that's not 50. I left TJ Maxx Marshalls. I stuck to my non buying. I, I stuck to it. And I just, the only the only thing I got was a roller babe t-shirt. Like, what am I? You know, not it's not an, like a prison state. I just got one thing. I'm great. My name is Bethany Frankel. There are very few around, um, as you probably know, if you've done any shopping. Hey, so how long are you going to be on the phone? Can we go? So here's what we're saying. I'm stopping the car. We're doing all my calls on the highway in the Hamptons. Just... Who's easier? Hmm. What you put into a relationship, you get out. We are just in a shopping center, and I was at this store, Bridgehampton Wine. Come on in, come on. And she, come on, she was in the corner. Oh my God! Nobody puts baby in the corner, though. Put her, bring her out. She was just baby in the corner. Oh, hold on. Cut to the shoe. She was in the corner. And now she's in the front because I came in and said hi and I gave lip glosses. I can show you them later. And take a picture. Yeah. I'm gonna see food and eat it. When I see food, I eat. I got it. Okay. So Paul and I are having a little very friendly domestic because he wants all of the content for YouTube to be exclusive. And I actually agree. But if I'm coming to do something, I wanna be able to shoot it for TikTok also because I just like things to be stacked. He even wanted me to go maybe get the good mic at the house to shoot this. And while I know that's better for you guys and Paul is a man of the people, I'm here and I want to just, I like to just do it. I want this to be like free and fun, not like a chore. I want to do a lobster salad crawl. It's a full blown investigation. No one asked for, no one's paying me for. I'm paying for it. And we're gonna go now and we're gonna get some lobster salad. Tell them how people say lobster in Massachusetts, please. Lobster. No, that's that lobster. You don't, come on, you're from. Lobster? Forget it. Lobster? Fucking lobster. I wanna see A, how much their lobster salad is, B, how much crap is in it, and C, Sables in New York City, famous for their lobster salad, they use filler. They use other seafood filler. It's a scam. They put an imitation crab or like other imitation lobster and it's a scam because you're paying like over a hundred dollars. And I know because I'm allergic to fish and I got little bumps and I had to call them out. I was like, do you put other fish, not lobster salad? And if it's ever really super mushy, that's how they do it. They mush it up so it's super like soft, but it's because they don't want you to see that there are pieces of lobster that are not in there. Okay, let's go to the dock house in Sag Harbor. It's literally on a dock where all the big yotes, yotes. I call yachts yotes because yachts isn't cool. People call them boats. They're yotes. Yo. I'm sorry. Yeah, okay. All right, they're excited I'm coming. They're excited. I'm coming. They only have a two to three month season. They gotta really grab the goddamn bag. So they bend you over and they be good. What schmuck is getting a chicken burger? Good ratio of big pieces of lobster with like little mushy pieces. Very good flavor. $86 is also in the Hamptons. Not expensive. I don't want to eat too much because I'm going to multiple places. It's very good. And I like the celery and onion. Right now I'm giving this a B plus. Maybe this is good. This is Panera and they have a lobster roll. So we're gonna ask for the lobster salad out of the lobster roll. Let's go. I'm sure it's frozen. Chewy or, it's not bad. See? This was $28 for five ounces. 
So this is more, so this would be $90. This would be $90 a pound, more expensive than, than, than a Hampton's local lobster place that is $86 a pound. This is a breaking lobster announcement, hold on. So yeah, just wanted to mention I have lobster in my purse. I'm not sure if you remember the reunion of the Housewives of New York. Ramona had chicken in her purse. Draining the swamp and getting lobster, lobster salad. Round Swamp Farm, this is a breaking news announcement. Round Swamp Farm, if my math is correct, pricing is the same as Panera lobster salad. And this is the most expensive farm stand on the planet. Paul would like it because it has no garbage in it. It's all lobster and mayonnaise. It is a lot of mayonnaise, I will say that. I bit off the end rubbery part so you didn't have to have that. I think it's better. Than the first place? Yeah. Okay. I do. So is there a bag behind the seat of lobster? Maybe. I think maybe we'll cut at this point. I think it's funny. The viewer, do, oh, you, do you think the viewer wants to see this? I do, but if it's not in the back. Is there a bag from a store behind me? I'm not an octopus, so I don't have all the hands. Well, I'm the one driving the car, so a higher quality is Round Swamp. That I'll say. They're the most expensive place. Uh, however, their lobster salad is not more than Panera. I'm going to keep going back to that. I'll never forget that as long as I live. Now we're going to the seafood shop. Well, this is near the Rich Fitch area. Not a lot of mayonnaise. Normal. Very weird. I just tasted a piece that wasn't good, and now I tasted a piece that's good. It's better than Panera, Seafood Shop, Dock House, Round Swamp. This is Loaves and Fishes. This is the home 10 years ago of the $100 lobster salad. Let's see how much it is now. Breaking news, they, didn't, they haven't increased their lobster salad price in years. For plastic tenderness, and mayonnaise to lobster ratio, we may have a winner. It's clean. Good lobster salad should be clean. Are you up my nose now? Because I feel like there's lobster salad in my nose. Jesus Christ. Are you, are you, up, are you in my armpit now? What, what are you doing with this camera? I'm just curious, are you up my nostrils?